site of a permanent men's homeless shelter, city and county officials believe they had reached an agreement to buy last year, was bought by someone else in the 11th hour. New at 6, we're learning it was purchased by a business just down the road. The city of Madison had announced in October plans to use the site of a former daycare for the men's shelter. The deal had a price tag of $1.3 million, but it was purchased last minute by a corporation controlled by the owner of a fitness center, Princeton Club. Tony Galley is digging deeper into why and how this deal fell through. Records show Princeton Club owner Dave Gary swooped in and topped a public offer for this Eastside property, toppling a plan for a men's homeless shelter. I think I think there's an irony there, to be honest. Um, the fact that uh, the Princeton Club uh, bought out the property, um, as I understand it, um, you know, I. So you've got you've got a um, obviously for profit business um, looking after people who can afford luxuries like gym memberships um, in the time of, of a pandemic. Meanwhile, uh, people who are um, desperately in need aren't getting the services that they need. We would hope that business leaders would be working to support solutions to homelessness. While the 11th hour purchase of this former daycare property by Princeton Club's owner is being criticized, motives for this $1.35 million deal other than blocking a homeless shelter are surfacing. A representative of Gary's company says the purchase had nothing to do with the city's plans and fits nicely with Gary's projects on the east side. Gary appeared to become interested in the long vacant property immediately after learning of the shelter plans. Officials now look to this nearby building as the new proposed shelter, but it's no lock even with homeless advocates. I'm not 100% sold on the far east side location. Policy differences and a businessman's money both have power to stall social services. In Madison, Tony Yalley, 27 News. While the submission of a better offer for the proposed shelter site was revealed right after city and county officials said they had a deal, all parties kept secret the identity of the person who outbid the city and county. The latest proposed shelter site will be reviewed next month by a joint city-county committee.